there, quirky people! I'm your host, Anna, and today we'd be talking about The Flash and its mysteries. After the release of the new trailer, The Flash was screened for the press at CinemaCon 2023, and it has already got many positive reactions, calling it one of the best superhero movies. So, despite what Ezra Miller has done in the past, the hype for the film is surreal. It will be one of the biggest movies of the year, no matter what. And people are already left asking plenty of questions about the film. One of those is about Zod's return and why it is Supergirl who fights him instead of Superman. Well, to answer that question, you've got to understand that the movie is inspired by the Flashpoint storyline from the comics. This is one of the most popular Flash stories of all time, and DC's next movie will bring that story to life in a very different way. The basic premise of Flashpoint in the comics is that when Barry Allen discovers that he can travel through time, he goes back to the past and saves his mother from dying. But the death of Barry's mother was such an iconic moment that altering it changed the entire timeline. The butterfly effect sent ripples across the whole timeline and totally changed things from the past and the future. Because Barry's mom never died, his father never went to prison, and Barry never got his speedster abilities. In the case of Batman, it's young Bruce Wayne who dies in the dark alley instead of his parents. And with the trauma of losing his son, Thomas Wayne becomes a very brutal version of Batman. Meanwhile, his mother Martha becomes the new Joker. There's no Superman, so Cyborg becomes America's greatest hero. Popular DC villains like Deathstroke and Lex Luthor also become the anti-heroes, and the world almost comes to an end because of a massive war between Atlantis and Themyscira that is led by Aquaman and Wonder Woman. The Flashpoint is also using this exact story beat for beat, but it changes many elements. Instead of Superman, we have a Supergirl. Instead of Cyborg, we've got a young Barry Allen who regains his powers in a new way. Michael Keaton's Batman replaces Thomas Wayne's Batman. And the final battle between Aquaman and Wonder Woman has been changed to add a Supergirl vs. Zod fight. To go a little deeper into these changes, let's see what happens in The Flash. The film takes place in 2023. That's when Barry Allen goes back in time to save his mother. But upon doing that, he completely breaks the universe. He ends up in the year 2013, where everything is changed. His mom is alive, but there's another Barry Allen in this timeline who doesn't have any powers. In fact, there are no other metahumans like Wonder Woman or Aquaman. That's just Michael Keaton's Batman. And since it is the year 2013, Zod arrives on Earth in order to turn it into Krypton. This bit stays the same from the original timeline, as he is not dead yet. But in this alternate Flash storyline, Kal-El was never sent to Earth. It was Kara who was sent here instead, and she is played by Sasha Kaye. And the bottom line is that there is no Superman at all. Well, there will be a couple of Superman cameos, but Henry Cavill won't be one of them. Anyway, as Kara arrives on Earth, she was discovered by the government instead of a loving couple like Jonathan and Martha Kent. So, she was imprisoned and continuously experimented upon. This bit is taken directly from the comics. Over there, it was Kal-El who was sent to Earth. But instead of Jonathan and Martha, the government found him. So, Clark Kent was never brought up in Smallville by his human parents. Not getting nourished by Earth's yellow sun, his body never grew properly, and his powers never got to their full potential. And now we're seeing something similar with DCEU's Kara Zarel. But as the trailers suggest, she'll be rescued by the two Barry Allens and Michael Keaton's Batman. And when the two Barrys ask her politely, she agrees to fight Zod and stop him from killing everyone. That's why we have Zod and Supergirl in the film. They will be a part of the final act, and it will be upon Barry 1, Barry 2, Batman and Supergirl to stop them and save Earth. But don't think that Zod will be the main villain of the film. His battle against Supergirl will happen behind the scenes while the two Barrys take on a dark flash. He will be the big bad that Barry has to stop, just like Reverse Flash was the main villain of the Flashpoint storyline. In the end, we expect Barry to defeat him and then try to restore the old timeline. But in doing so, he will create James Gunn's new DC Universe. Here, a few characters like Aquaman and Flash might remain the same, but we'll see a new Superman, a new Batman, and probably a new Wonder Woman played by different actors. Okay, that's all for now. Are you happy with the changes that director Andy Muschietti is making to the Flashpoint storyline? Let us know in the comments! And once again, don't forget to click on those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the video. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one!